Hey friends, right now I'm going to get Starbucks because we get like a meal provided for free each day and today I got Starbucks. I'm so excited! I'm gonna get a venti. But yeah, it's really nice that too. I got my Starbucks and I got the passion fruit, which is basically, uh, I think just like pineapple, it's something else. And then I got plain, or I wanted to get a plain bagel, they didn't have plain bagels. So that everything bagel with cream cheese toasted. And now I'm just on Beckman, fourth floor, chilling. And I'm actually really happy because it's 12 o'clock right now and I got the meal before it closed because we get like two meals a day and it would be breakfast and dinner or breakfast and lunch sorry but right now i'm probably just gonna eat enjoy this space it's like such it has such a pretty view i can see the street i can see like memorial lawn on this side and when i was walking in here there was like this little boy outside with his family because i think like a lot of times on the weekends or during the summer people just like walk up chapman's campus because it's an open campus and there was a family and he was like talking to me and I think he was talking like a different language but he was like pointing to his parents like these are my, this is my family like introducing me to them and I was like like my heart I love that sometimes people are just so precious and I always forget that because I haven't like been around in a while I'm gonna eat this and then see where the day takes us still up and I'm going. <laughs> we made it to work even though I didn't really want to. I have my water. And yeah, and I'm in my little office thing. I work for four hours today from 8 to 12 and it's like 8.30 right now. So I don't know what else I'm gonna do later today. But all I know is like we have food at the cafe and I'm excited to eat it. And low key, like our office is cute. We have a little couch and then all the stuff's the best. But then we have our computer that we use. I like it anyway. Um, part of my office shifts is if people come in, they need to check in, check out. If they have a concern with their room, we're here for that. Give them a lockout code if they don't have their ID card. I'd say it's a pretty like decent gig because usually no one does show up. Actually, right now we don't have any conferences on campus. So this week's pretty slow. I work on office Tuesday and Friday. And I low-key love those days because it forces me to get up early and actually do something instead of sleeping in. And then right after I get lunch, there's a door outside and then a bunch of like miscellaneous things. I can do 
for my work right now. So I'm gonna go back home and I'm not sure I just chill because I was up at eight o'clock and I'm tired and I have such a headache going on right now, but I also need to charge my laptop, apply for jobs because when I tell you I've not applied for any, that's not true because I applied to so many, but it feels like I've applied to none because no one seems to be getting back with me. And it's really frustrating because I, I'm like putting all this work in, this effort. It doesn't seem to be reciprocated. Okay. I'm gonna go because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. I just saw my reflection. Hello. The sun is blaring into my eyes right now. I thought this would be good lighting. Clearly, it's not. I'm gonna try to change my camera angle so it's not as bad. I think this is worse actually. Anyways, um, I'm going to get Subway right now and it's like down the street. I just have to walk a little bit over there. I wanted to order food, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna be strong and not do it. Today also, um, when I was at Starbucks, I got a cookie that was free and I ate already one of them. So I'm like starving right now. But last time I went, they didn't have tuna fish and I always get the tuna fish at Subway. I know they're slander. I don't care, I love it. And last time there wasn't, and I also went kind of late last time, it's like seven right now, and they close at eight. So I'm gonna walk over there, and if you don't have tuna, I'm gonna find someplace else to eat. That's the plan. It's been pretty chill, as you can tell. I don't really do much at all. Um, on the days I'm not working, uh, today I just like tried to apply for jobs. I reached out for to roommates potential roommates like I deem them on Instagram I'm just like how do people find roommates in a place they've never lived in and then how do you guys like decide to move to a different city but then how also do you decide to stay in your hometown and that's like my decisions right now that I have to make because on one side I don't want to move to some place and get a job that I don't like just because it's in a good location and then be stuck at that job for a while um, because I don't want to like go, I don't want to like accept a job and like turn it down five months later or and then like quit or whatever five months later because I don't like it. So I have to really be sure that that's the place I want to work at. On the other hand, I'm afraid that if I move back home, that I also will take a job that I really don't want and it'll be harder for me to move into a different location if I have that job. You know, does that make any sense? change out of my clothes I'm in comfy clothes and now my night of relaxation begins I got tuna fish lettuce and tomato and on just like Italian bread it's so good it's so good I just want to say thanks for watching this vlog it feels good to get outside each day and vlog it and um, I think I, I was like I just realized that this stage in my life is never gonna exist again that's like the right word for it it just feels so temporary and it is i mean my job's temporary where i'm living right now is temporary but it feels like it's like going too fast like it shouldn't i'm not ready for this i'm not ready to go 
at this pace in my life but then i look back at everything i've done and i'm like wait are you kind of already for it this time it's just gonna you're just gonna be moving somewhere you choose and it's all up to you now and i think that's where the pressure comes in because it's like i've always had this plan of what i'm gonna do next and it was always semi in place already for me like everything was in place like my classes for my major like where i was gonna live and now nothing is in place it's just weird i was looking back at my old vlogs um from the beginning of this year even when my hair was like lighter also i dyed my hair i don't think i said that i dyed it i was looking back at my old vlogs and i was like this person seems so different i just seem like a lot more optimistic about everything and i guess that's just because i was like i'm moving to a new place and now i know what to expect and i feel more comfortable but also with that comes more confidence and i think i have to remember that just like i was new before to this place i eventually became more comfortable with it became it became my home so whatever place i choose next i have the power to do that because i've done it before also i watch stranger things spoilers i'm glad they killed off that kid's name the guy who was attacking the football player you know what i'm talking about i'm so glad they killed him off i didn't even want like a whole kill off scene for that kid i just needed him to be ripped apart by the earthquake not really an earthquake you know what i mean and also what are they gonna do for next season because i feel like they've already brought out 11's whole superpowers so like her like her full force has already been used so like what are they gonna do now because i feel like they just brought it all last time and they still lost so Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go eat this and enjoy my night.